Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Um, so for this uh, episode, I would like to again uh, thank everyone for giving me a, a lot of feedbacks and also a lot of questions regarding the Lu Bao or the microorganism bag. So uh, starting from the the questions that I get, like for example, is it necessary to even have uh, a ball like that uh, to to produce biofilm? So technically, if your tank is able to produce a lot of biofilm, then uh, yes, you are able to get away with it. But for example, if let's say you are unable to feed them uh, as much as they can, and uh, in between, during feeds, uh, there are insufficient biofilm, then chances are during molting, uh, the males will actually attack the females. And, uh, and, and these are some of the things that I really do not one are our price possessions are especially streams that are extremely expensive uh, to be you know uh, handled this way so the long story short uh, one of the reasons why i actually use lu pao is because of uh, used to be my travel uh, schedule i used to travel a lot uh, for my work and hence i i am actually unable to to feed them uh, regularly even with uh, with automatic feeding uh, machine, uh, I mean uh, automatic feeders, and and I tried a, a few uh, methods like uh, putting some uh, some more vector AE or some snowflake food to actually help to enhance the biofilm production, but it doesn't really come as close as uh, the Lu Bao. Uh, one of the reasons is because, as you can really see, is that the streams really like it and those who have actually tried has given a lot of good feedbacks on the on the Lu Pao itself so as you can see over here uh, these are some wild stardust stream and basically they, they they keep bearing and there's a lot of uh, streamlets so so it actually kind of like help uh, produce sufficient uh, biofilm for for the streams to consume in between uh, feeds so what so what I'm gonna do now is actually uh, to, to share with you uh, to show you uh, while I drop the food in and let's see if the streams will go to their staple food which is their main food uh, when they are still consuming their Lu Pao so technically when the streams are actually uh, grazing on on the Lu Pao and when the feed like your normal usual feed uh, the stream should actually go to to the to the stream food so I'm just going to drop it in yep as you can see it has dropped and give it some time and and actually you can see that the the stream food is their still their ultimate choice um, and if let's say uh, there's insufficient uh, food I mean their daily feed then it's then they actually can uh, fall back on their Lu Pao as their grazing material so this will actually provide a, a good method a good way to actually uh, allow your streams to consume something that you can control and that way you know that uh, the, the streams will generally uh, be full and uh, you will not be actually afraid of uh, having a lack of biofilms uh, or inside your tank so as you can see actually uh, my tank with a Ramshon snail the, the tank glass is actually very clean uh, there is no green wall um, in the tank so, uh, so I think there's there's no reason why uh, one should be alarmed if let's say uh, you don't have a green wall um, but if let's say uh, all the all the, the Ramshon snails are are being eaten up or they are not there then yes so there will be a green wall so usually I like to put Ramshon is actually uh, one of a good way to consume all this uh, algae so that is is clean and then I will be able to f uh, feed the lupao and and the daily feed so that I know that my streams are actually consuming um, what I'm actually feeding so over on this tank, uh, maybe I'll just do the same uh, same experiment. So I'm just gonna drop the the food, okay, and then you can see. So those that are foraging around the Lu Pao will will they actually go towards the the main staple food? So technically, uh, 
the stream should actually uh, move towards the the staple food, and then after they get tired or they 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 feel they feel like uh, changing you know cuisines, then they will go back to to the lu bao. So again, uh, lu bao is not a replacement for daily feed. So that's uh, one misconception that I want to clear, and it's important that you you put the lu bao in as a grazing material to be consumed by the streams uh, in between feeds so that's uh, that's important uh, the reason is because um, the main feed is where all the micro the, the macronutrients are actually uh, uh, present and the biofilm is actually more of like a in between uh, food for them to to, to graze upon uh, before their next meal so as you can see, uh, most of the, the streams are actually have gone from the lu bao to the to the main uh, staple food. So that that shows that you know feeding is still necessary, is is still vitally important, and shouldn't be uh, ignored uh, and replaced by uh, a, a, the lu bao. So I hope uh, this episode actually clarifies uh, a, a bit more of on how to use the lu bao and uh, hope you guys uh, have have your questions answered thank you very much